Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Total War Three Kingdoms. So where we left off, actually, one of our guys managed to get themselves a level up, and it's in fact our leader, Gong Gong Sun Zan, has gained a level up. Now, I'm I'm curious, which one do we want to go for here? We've got this: the plus twenty five percent melee damage for all shock cavalry. Now, I actually don't know. Is this my only shock cavalry? I can't tell how, how like how do I tell if something is shock cavalry or not? The raider. Idle soldiers will burn down nearby buildings. Does not suffer a morale penalty. You know the room to regionless. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how to tell what shock cavalry is. This is flanking. This wouldn't be bad if it actually applied to my units. Now 10% melee armor piercing damage is really good because it also gives me 40% melee attack rate on this guy, which would really elevate how strong he is in combat. 10% morale in enemy territory. Mm. 20, 20, plus 25 charge bonus for his own retinue is actually pretty damn strong. A lot of these are really powerful. It's kind of hard to actually choose here. I feel like the melee... Melee armor piercing damage is like really good here though because a lot of the units... Well, I guess I do have enough horse archers to justify not taking that. Yeah, this is really tough. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take the 10% um, melee armor piercing damage and the 40% attack rate, I think. Just so this guy is a lot stronger. He is, of course, using the Dreadbringer. No, I don't really have anything else he could equip, could he? Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna stick with the weapons he has. Now we want to go ahead and take these guys on. We are a l very very slightly stronger than them, and this will be a snow battle. Uh, we're go it's gonna be a ferric victory if anything. We're gonna have to try to take out those archers. It's gonna be very very important to make sure we deal with those. Ha <laughs> ha! My friend, follow behind me. Victory awaits. Give these dogs nothing but fire and fury. Fire and fury, hell yeah, dude. Their lands will be free to claim. Defeat them here. Now, my friends, to war for China. For China. All right, so they have an awful lot of spear infantry. And an awful lot of archers. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up a front line of units. Now we're going to be heavily outnumbered um, in terms of infantry. But we do have the cavalry advantage. And I'm hoping that I can use my cavalry advantage to take out their archers. And then surround their infantry and defeat them in detail essentially. Um, I actually really don't like this approach vector for me. This is them on a hill which is really not so great for me. Um, I think I'd much rather approach through the open area over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this entire army and I'm going to give them the, um, where is it? The cautious dragon formation and I'll move them over here. And that will be fine so that we can maybe wheel up the mountain and come at them from a, from the side. Let's make sure we lock this in. We'll get started with the battle, and we'll start moving these guys forward. Not running. No need to run. But yeah, we're going to probably try to soften up their infantry with my archers, and then use my cavalry to take out their archers. That's going to be the goal. Um, because we need to win the infantry fight. The infantry fight is the most, the thing that I'm most scared of not winning because they have a lot more infantry than I do. Um, the archers I think I can defeat with uh, just a bit of cavalry. Like, that should be fine. But yeah, let's speed up time here. Let time go past a little bit quicker. We march up. We're trying not to tire our troops out by just regular marching. All right, so should be in position here in a moment. I'm going to break off this cav this cavalry archer over here to the side. 
And we're going to use these as a uh, flanking force. The rest of these guys, I'm going to actually break these cavalry archers off into their own group. I'm going to advance a little bit more with these guys. You should uh, avoid getting caught here. Oh, well. So let's get them rotated in a reasonable fashion here. Like that. It'll take them a bit of time to figure things out. We can get our cav archers to come up. And I would like to start softening up some of these guys. We've got peasant bands. They should be actually pretty easy to pepper down with our horse archers. But I think that might be what we work on here. Okay. We'll get them to advance nice and slow. We want to soften up these guys. Now, we aren't going to quite come in range. And we're going to back up if their archers come forward. Bring these forward a little bit. So they're now going into loose formation. Which is a good thing. And we need to watch out for any archer counterfire. But our main objective here is just to soften up these units because if we can soften up the melee units then we can use our cavalry but who is this hold on uh relative strength they're challenging this sentinel zhao yun I, I can't does this mean i'm stronger i'm gonna accept the duel i will defeat you get you guys to fall back we're gonna get the cavalry to flank out wide you're gonna flank out wide as well go ahead and do a bit of damage to these guys It looks like we're winning this fight. We've got you leading the army. Go ahead and fight these guys. I don't know if you'll win that. No, don't go there. Fight them specifically. Your words are as pathetic as you are. Okay, fall back, archers. You're taking a bit too much. Okay, let's bring our cavalry up. deal with this no 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 run away run away don't go there don't go there okay he ran away can you get back on your horse and then deal with those archers attack there attack there attack there i want you to deal with those spearmen out in the flank those guys are moving up. Let's get you guys here peppering these guys in the flank as well. They're pointlessly chasing them. We've got my main guy over here. He's like causing chaos. Which is exactly what we want. We've got our cavalry doing chaos over here. You're fighting really well. You go ahead and charge there. You've got a battle going on. You're going to be doing this. I'm actually just going to get you to retreat because you're a little bit too hurt. All right, they're retreating. Uh, let's go ahead and fire into that army right there because they're like exposed and we're gonna bring these guys up To deal with these archers I need you guys to get into the fight. That's really important You're chasing these down go ahead and get this cavalry unit the Sentinel is doing good work Let's get our cav archers up here to help out Keep fighting them. You're supposed to be running against these archers. Just make these guys retreat. You flip around and charge into these guys to make them collapse. More of them are retreating. Excellent. Why aren't you running? You're supposed to be running. Run. You're taking unnecessary archer fire. Okay. 
Okay, these guys are running now. Good job. I need you to go charge these archers. The cavalry archers are doing good work over here, routing these archers, I think. They're broken. Excellent. You're doing a good job. How is the front line? Keep fighting there. Keep fighting. And you force them to take some casualties. Archers in the back line to fill in any gaps in the line. And there is a little bit of a gap right there, but I think uh, this group of archers can actually fill that. Get them to push in there. I need you to charge that set of archers. You're doing a good job. You're chasing these guys off. Yeah, you've routed these guys. Good job. Let's bring you back in. I'm going to grab you. You're going to take out that guy. I'm going to get you to start taking out this lady. I'm going to get you to come around like so. And you guys are going to come back to join the line. Amazing that you can both talk and battle. You go there. I like how the generals talk shit to each other. That's great. One step closer to victory. Okay, we're going to bring our archers out on the flank. And then attack the rear of these guys. You should be running. You should be running as well. We're taking some pretty bad hits from this lady. She's like doing crazy damage here. I need you to just go straight for her now. You guys are cleaning up. You're coming in to take out the tactician. Doesn't want to duel. That's fine. What are you doing? You actually won that duel without taking much at all damage. Alright, she's panicked now. And there we go. Awesome. We got them all to run. I'd say our horse archers again took a lot of arrow fire because I wasn't really babysitting them. But I think in general we did really well here. Um... Didn't take too heavy casualties on our infantry. I mean, some of them are down below half. Most of our guys are pretty intact. We, One of our horse archers, again, took took the brunt of the arrow fire, which, you know, kind of sucks because they take a long time to regenerate to full strength. Because uh, they have so few units, they recover so few per turn, essentially, is what I'm saying. I mean, proportionally, it's the same, but... Nice dropkick there. Excellent. Roundhouse to the face. Alright, so they have lost. We captured this guy. Now, I can actually hire him and then eat away into their army if I were to do that. Now, he only costs me 100 salary. He's feared. He is scared. He is concerned. Selfless and honest. So he might actually be a good guy to employ. It would cost us 100 per turn, but it would severely hurt this army. Um, but money is so tight for me right now that I feel like I should release him. He's a bandit champion, though. I'm just going to release him, even if it would have been better to take him. I think I'm going to release him for the money. I th and I'm also really tempted to take the replenishment here. Because that would get me a back a lot of my troops. And then I'd be able to sort of press on. Now the money would be nice too, but I think I'm going to take the replenishment and restore some of my um, some of my army, which would allow me to push harder on um, Lu Yu. It looks like this guy leveled up. This is my legendary sentinel. He could take this, so he can take charge and negate for his own retinue. So enemies would not get charge bonuses against our infantry. That would be really, really powerful. He would also um, immune to, to terror and fear for his units. That's really, really powerful. Counteract corruption. This gives him plus 25 charge speed. That's pretty damn strong. I'm going to go ahead and take bravery because of the ability for these infantry to hold the line. And I feel like that's his job is to have like a really, really strong core of infantry that can hold the line. And now, because we still have, like, full troops, because I took the replenishment... We're not full, but we're significantly better off than we were. Um, it was essentially, like, an entire turn of replenishment that we got there instead of a turn of income, which I think is worth it, because we only have one army. 
We're going to start making our way over there. We will stop right at the border for an extra turn and then push. Get that little bit of extra replenishment. You're still recruiting. That's great. And I'd love, I'd love to get you up to like a full little miniature cavalry army, which would make you really, really strong uh, just doing cavalry stuff. Um, Redeployment cost, inscription, final rough, battle outcome is decided, passive bust, uh, paddle, passive buff, not passive bust, <laughs> those are the different things. Ooh, guerrilla deployment. That's really, really powerful, especially for cavalry. If we could deploy outside of the uh, deployment line and hit their archers early. I'd love to recruit um, some more of this uh, peasant raiders. I'll get one more here and then I'll wait a turn to get a little bit more. We've got ourselves a really great cavalry support army. We're going to want like an infantry core and then like a ranger core. Maybe even we could even do a horse archer core if we really wanted to. Um, that would be interesting. That'd be really, really expensive. And we're already burning a lot of our money on armies. And we're going to have to make use of those armies in order to justify that cost. Tolerance is the best we can offer. We're going to reject that piece. You dare spur um, us. You're still recruiting. Make sure you stop on the border. Exactly. Um, we have a new reform, and I've been taking a few kind of more militaristic reforms. I would love to get these guys, but I really do want to unlock the horse archers. The mounted archers, because they feel like they could be really, really useful. Attention. Um, now, out of curiosity. Mounted archers. What if I were to go here and say, oh, I wanted to replace these guys so mounted archers are a little bit cheaper a little bit they're a lot cheaper than these guys but they are also a lot weaker in melee hold on let me see if I can get a good comparison going um, An iron fist is needed to rule. So these are the white horse raiders. Oh no, uh, cancel. So if I right click these guys, they'll be on the left. So compared to these guys, they have a little bit more morale. They have much better charge. So I wouldn't want to use the regular horse archers in melee at all. They have way, way, way better melee evasion. They have less good armor. And they have better ranged attack in general, and they're faster. But they don't quite attack as fast. So this is, again, this is kind of like a cheap version of the, um, the uh, White Horse Raiders. It's interesting. In of itself. If I just tax exempt, your, like, happiness goes way up, right? Yeah. It's like a significant boost to income to just like start taxing these guys. Public order is a bit of a problem, but you know, a little bit of money goes a long way, to be honest. We're already making like 400 a turn, an extra 30. That's like a nearly, um, you know, like an 8% increase in our income. Main hungry. Let's see, so we got the Discourses of the States. Satisfaction and Corruption. Very good. We're going to hang out here on the border before we move in to finish these guys off. And they do have a pretty big army. This is the guy I should have hired. For China. So we'll wait one more turn to replenish a bit. And then we'll move in to take them out, I think is the right move.
little horse army over here is building up. You have provoked our fury. Zhang Yang has declared war on me. That's actually kind of a good thing because I was trying to look for my next war. And he shouldn't attack me for a turn or two, so I should get a chance here to take out Li, Li, Lu Yu. And this is a city battle. I think the I feel like the AI handles city battle battles better than me. Um, so I'm gonna quickly. I'm just gonna auto resolve this because it says it's a Fyric victory, but I'm just gonna delegate it. Fix your mind and never waver. We didn't lose that much, realistically. Let's occupy. It shows potential. Junior construction new town, the section of bamboo. Plus two construction time, commandery wide. Pay for doctors, 10 satisfaction. I'm gonna go ahead and do nothing. Path to glory. So I got rid of that faction, which gives me the path to glory, which is a lot of population growth and a lot of income and a lot of stuff like that. Awesome. now we want to take on Zhang Yang. We do have a little bit of a... I kind of wish I had walls in here. Unfortunately, I don't. And six turns is a very long time to get walls up here. See, what if I were to upgrade this? This would give me a boost to commerce income. This would be an 8% income boost. Not bad. For 2,000? 8% of the base tax, which is about, um, I have to get my calculator out here. God. <laughs> All right. So we've got a income of 230 plus 200 plus 25, uh, multiplied by 0 0.8, sorry, 0 0.08, 230 plus 200 plus 25 multiplied by uh 0 0.08 that'll be 36 per turn and then we are 30 37 money per turn then we take 2000 divided by 37 and that would take about 50 turns for that to pay off at the current level of investment in here but it would also give us public order now over here actually Thinking about this. If I can build these, why don't I just build the tax collection thing? This gives public order. And then why not just build temples as well? Well, I could get a bunch of income from peasantry. Isn't there a thing that increases peasant income? I swear to God, there's one here somewhere. Is it government support? We could get a lot of income from peasantry. That could be interesting. Um, it's probably a mistake to build this. Realistically speaking. I'm just going to leave it at the level 1. Because that's like a really efficient boost of income. Um, upgrading this... Would get me a bit of peasant income and commerce income, but we're not really making commerce. What could I replace this with? Nothing. Let's just demolish this and see if we can invest into the city a little bit. Get its raw base production up. So we are going to be healing up here for a little while, so we might lose die. It has only the most basic garrison, but that's fine. My goal is to establish my power. I need to reach the rank of Duke. We're getting there. We're 66 out of 300. So I need to kill Yan Shao, which is this guy. And this guy is actually really powerful from what I remember. Welcome, friend. Yeah, he's the global rank of one. He's rich in food and money, so we're probably going to have to expand a little bit west here. Or see if we can maybe take out a little bit of this area over here. 
and then maybe uh, take on Yan Shao. Oh, you know what will be important? Let's make sure we get this cavalry army up. I'm going to recruit another peasant raider. But rather than give them the time to heal up. Act quickly. I'll give them a turn to replenish until I see this army. For China. But I, you know what? I might need to move now. The word of our cause. But just let them naturally replenish. The as we move. Because we, we need an army over here to help fight. Because he's likely to come for me soon. I'd love to get a second army with this guy. A second retinue with maybe um, horse archers. That way we can just like use our ability as cavalrymen. I'm going to have you just in position to support this town in case anything goes down. We have a little bit of food production. Thanks to Yuzu. And I'm really tempted to remove this. But what I really need to do... Figure out an upgrade for this place. Yeah, I'm going to do land development. And the idea here will be is if I develop the land in here twice, I'll be able to support this city at level 2, food-wise. Or sorry, this city at level 4, food-wise, which is exactly what we want. And this is making plus 3 food farming. You shouldn't be tax exempt anymore. That's a mistake. Let's double check that we're not tax exempting anywhere. That we shouldn't be. Okay, that's a lot of money we're making now. Okay, some sort of upgrade. Somebody wants to be chancellor. I think I'm going to make Yao Zun chancellor. This will give me... 50% income from peasantry here. Well, who else could be? Peasantry income, peasantry. So all these guys basically do the same thing. But this would give this guy the most... Promote. Let's give them... Ooh, okay. So this is if people's satisfaction gets low. I can promote people. Oh, but it costs, like... A lot of money to do this. Got it. Am I doing um, assignments? No. So there's not a whole lot of money coming from peasantry in here. Industry is actually a pretty reasonable amount of cash. What's the corruption like? Corruption isn't too bad. I'm going to send you in here to increase industry. And... Is there anywhere that I have like a decent amount of building upkeep? 20. 20. Not really as far as I can tell. So I'll just send you to, uh, to here. To lower that 20 building upkeep. That'll keep you guys busy. Make you, maybe make you feel a little bit less like you don't have a purpose. Alright, these guys are replenishing. Very good. You me now, out of curiosity. Calling, yeah, probably better just to stick to the cheaper infantry for now. While we don't have a whole lot of money, I think it's better off. Now, die could be upgraded. The uh, tribal horse camp, actually. I think this would be worth it, it because it's going to reduce the recruitment cost of our cavalry, but also reduce the upkeep by another 4%, which is a pretty significant amount. So, like... We're spending 30 for a pretty significant uh, upkeep reduction. So I think that's a pretty reasonable amount. I think that the, having these horse pastures well upgraded is going to stand to us for a while. Now this, of course... We need shock warfare. Yeah, I think this is worth it. For your consideration. Yan Shao wants me to be in his coalition, but he wants me to make payments. I can't afford to do this, I'm sorry. Your choice.
We'll move on this guy eventually. We just have to wait for our replenishment. The game recommends you decrease. Why? Just leave it on normal while I learn the game, okay? It's recommending that I decrease the campaign difficulty. <laughs> I've never had a game do that. That's amazing. I mean, it is my first time to like really play the game, so I'm probably making a lot of mistakes. Um, I would like to do a little bit of a scouting mission on the border here, but I want to retain some of my movement speed. Just hang out there. Get the stables ready for my horses. But who's this? Yan Shao. Han Fu is probably going to be our next target. Stand Move you around here. You still have a lot of replenishment to do, but you should be fine. Seven turns. God damn. There's some good population in here, which is helping. Winter's bite will not deter us. I might send this cavalry army in to just have a little peek and see what's in here. And then I can make decisions about how I move forward. Actually. Duty. Just go for it. No, I regret. Actually, we can take this. I'm going to delegate it because it's all cavalry and I feel like leading cavalry in a siege will go really poorly for me. Really. That game lied. The game lied to me. <laughs> Fuck that. The game totally told me I was going to win. That's some bullshit right there. Hold on. I would never have taken that if it, if it was like I would never have taken that fight if the game hadn't said yeah this is clearly going to be ending in a win for you and I was like alright fine I'll just delegate it'll be easy no way dude you might call that save scumming but I feel like that's the game scumming you know what I mean I was just doing a little peek and the game baited me in <laughs> I got I got fucking debated dude there's no way I'm accepting that outcome. After spending so much time like building and recruiting this army, and I'm like, all right, yeah, it's a certain victory. All right, click the button, and then, nope, you lose. For China. And then we know not to trust that thing. I'll pull you back. So I need these guys to be a little bit more replenished before I move them in. We'll just hang them out here on the border. An expensive army, man. Um. So, what is the big thing holding up recruitment here? Yeah, I might go in like two, three turns. It's mainly my infantry. Um, I don't really know how to speed that up. Population here. I guess the population here is pretty decent. That's why I'm getting that 4% replenishment thanks to the... Um, Thing, which is going to speed that up a little bit. Is there an army replenishment button in here somewhere? The There's got to be some building unlocks here as well. I need a building to unlock that. The... I'm going to grab this so I can get these uh, peasant bands. Faction council. Invoke council. Uh, you want me to increase the settlement administration. Well, that is something I wanted to do over here in Dai. But I needed to get this food building built first. I'm getting food from somewhere. This is the county office. Let's demolish it. So I'm getting food from somewhere that I don't understand. Um, 
Okay. Food distribution. I see the two are coming from here. Two is going to here. Am I getting food from here now? No. I'm getting three from this thing. Okay. That makes sense. I understand that. I'm getting two from here. That's five. Okay. Yeah, no, actually that doesn't make sense. Never mind. I'm dumb. Yeah, we need a little bit of food to upgrade our towns to at least have walls like we would not be your enemy a stupid you're actually someone i plan on attacking so i don't want to have a uh, non-aggression pact with you this guy's a really big army we're gonna to need to use both our armies i think to fight this guy I refuse. china's problems need an iron will Oof. Now, maybe I could move in here in the spring. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to upgrade Dao. Or die. Um, and hopefully, this will provide me with building slots, but also complete that mission that I was given by this guy. Which will result in me getting support from artisans, which will give me industry income, satisfaction for sentinels, and um, make this guy a little bit happier. We detest you, but this must end. Don Min, I'm gonna reject. What's this? He can't do anything to me right now. So dies in the process of being upgraded. I can't like bait this guy out. He's like just sitting there. Not today. I am a minor strategic threat. Maybe it would be a good idea to recruit some archers and some infantry to build up our power. We have the income to support this. I might just get cheap saber infantry here. And cheap archers. And this will provide me with the power I need to break this guy. New Bay. Your arrival is welcome, my lord. Alright, let's get self some more archers. So this will take a bit of time. To replenish up four turns but once the balance of power is looking good in my favor then i'll probably go i'll probably wait like two more turns i think that's a reasonable amount of time we've been sitting around here for a while doing nothing lodai is upgrading which is good oh i see so having a food surplus gives you extra f money from your peasantry that's pretty good Okay, he's fighting someone. Who is this? Good omen, public order, great. What is this army? For China. I'm gonna wait until after winter to attack this guy. Well, I wanna double check diplomacy. Wait, did Yan Shao take this over? Oh, he did. Shit. Well, I've been sitting here like an idiot for no reason. We need to go after Han Fu. Let desire shape and guide passion. Yuan Shao does not appreciate probably current situation. He's likely to declare war on me. Let's talk to these guys. Choose your words. So he's got no allies or vassals, and he's at war with a few different people. So I'm going to declare war on him. forces they will fall before us
I might be able to get if I take these. Unnecessary conflict. Let's not do this. Let's just do a non-aggression pact for now. Yeah, I'll do military access with you. Um What's this? Regular payment. You want my scholar? I don't mind losing the scholar. I can't afford to give you two food income. I can just give you a bunch of money. Like a thousand? And a trade agreement. No, he actually doesn't like the trade agreement. Um, I've probably got an ancillary sitting around here that I don't need. So these two ancillaries will give us a military access agreement with Yan Shao, which will hopefully strengthen our friendship and give me time to build up my power to take him on. I'm going to retreat. You retreated in the total wrong direction. It's fine. I expected you to run the wrong way. Zhao Yun. Okay, we completed that mission by building this up to level 4, which means we can now build another thing in here. And, uh... I feel like doing a combination of military government. Military government feels really good for public order. Then we can put tax collection in later at some point. When does this get another building? Actually, the next level gives a building. These are expensive, dude. Definitely would like to get these cities up to level 5 if I could. It does take 6 food production though. M m m the thing I'm, I'm lacking the most right now is money. Now I could do government support. I could do conscription. Military infrastructure is also okay. That gives public order and an extra garrison to this place. Um, the income. I feel like this military government thing is just like so good. 8% income at every level for like 900 gold. Like that feels really, really nice to me. It does take up a building slot. That's something we have to consider. Like maybe... Maybe an inn is just better. Because it gives a lot of raw gold. And then I'll build the military government at the next level. Just need to get my raw income up. That's like the big thing for me right now. A little bit of surplus food. We definitely want to build this up to the next level, and then we can start upgrading another town, maybe. Um, yeah, I think I think raw food is important. Let's see here. So you need me to build a farm labor camp. In order to get the next level of these buildings. Available trade agreements. 15 income from peasantry isn't terrible because it actually leads to some good stuff here. Like 10% income from all sources is like pretty good. And then the 15% industry from income and stuff like that. Like this is a good branch to go down for money. Minus 8% corruption is really good too. We'll kind of head down that branch. I don't know if I'm making good decisions, right? Oh, I forgot to move my units. That was a mistake. 
as normal. I thought I I thought I'd done all those actions this turn, but I guess I hadn't. Right, let's move Nothing into here. We'll have you as a support unit. You can't quite make it all the way there. We'll just hang on. This city wants an upgrade. Tax collection. Yeah, it needs more money for other stuff. It looks like they popped out of their city. Kind of sad that this guy was killed. I was hoping to get that. Alright, he declared war on Han Fu. That means I need to move. The white horses. Do not yield. This is like a very tiny place. We're gonna hold the siege. Press onward. Peace through conquest. Marching. We're gonna do a gentle little bit of scouting because I think I saw an army over here. But I want to make sure I can still always make it over here to support the siege. Nothing will stop us. Okay. We do have a city siege to look forward to. Go ahead and do government support in here as well. Sorry, no. Land development is what we want to do. It's just a little bit of income from peasantry. Ignore this suggestion at your See, Dong Ming wants me to become his vassal. I'm going to reject that. You dare spurn us. I need to become more powerful. But I think we're going to go ahead and take this siege. Wan Xiao declared war on Hei Yi. The, the autumn have come. This is in the Anping city. Natural disaster. First the dams will damage the buildings. I'm not going to do it. No, we're not going to burst the dams. I think we're going to go ahead and attack this city now. Okay, we're going to be using a lot of our heavy infantry here and our archers. We're not going to be so much using our cavalry. We are going to start the battle. Now, expected casualties are pretty high. So my current plan is... I'm going to use the battering ram to break open a gate, send Be two bold. units of infantry Your in a gate, then uh, with a sentinel. Then I'm no going to climb the walls with one of my generals as uh, archers after I soften up the walls with my archers. I think that's the current plan. I think that's a pretty reasonable plan. Like... Into battle. So, let's do it. All right, so we got to choose a gate to go. Excuse me, we got to choose a gate to go in. It looks like the towers are down over here on this side. Now, of course, this arrow tower will do a lot of damage to us. But these two towers are down. In fact, if we were to attack this side, we would take almost no casualties pushing in. Whereas if we attack from the strong side, it's very likely that they will have units. Um, like these towers will shoot me. This tower will shoot me. This tower will shoot me. If I like, if I go for this gate, right? I've got this shooting me, this shooting me, this shooting me, and potentially even this shooting me if I go around. Whereas if I go over here to some of these damaged walls, but over here, like this, this thing isn't shooting me. Like the gate's still intact, but all the towers are down like this is the spot to break in let's grab our entire army do a right, I meant to do this just kind of line them up like that uh, I would prefer 
if it was some sort of infantry with a shield. Let me see. What do you guys have? You have range block chance, 45% chance. These guys have 40, 50% chance. So we're going to take them. Because they're going to be the first ones up. And I'm going to have them supported by an axe band right behind them. And then the plan is to scale the walls with these guys coming from the corner. We want to take over this corner section. Although one of them is probably going to go climb the walls on this side right there. One of them is going to climb the walls here. Two of them are going to climb over on this side. And then we're going to have archers. You're going to be in reserve because you don't you don't have any shields. Like you have no way to block arrows. So better just keep you in reserve. And we're going to bring the archers up as well to kill whoever's on the walls. Um, you are going to be going down the center with the battering ram. And you're going to be climbing the walls with these guys over here on the flank. All right, so that's the general plan. Let's get started. All right, you go batter that down. You climb that wall. You climb that wall. You climb that wall. Let's get all the archers to sprint up and take these guys out. Let's actually get these three. To shoot these archers. We want to soften up the archers on the walls if we can. So here comes the assault. We're about to start getting hit. Uh, Axemen. You can march up to here. To also push in. With the sentinel. And these guys are going to take a lot of damage. But they do have shields. So they have a way to resist this. This is exactly what we want. So now that the archers have started firing. We're going to start sprinting. You sprint as well. You sprint. And they're not going to take a whole lot of damage from all this fire. But the main thing is that we're softening them up. We're, we're, we're doing a little bit of damage to hopefully reduce the amount of damage they're doing out to us. Right? They do have a pretty good group of spear guards here. But we are getting killed, which will hopefully reduce the total amount of arrows being fired at us. These guys are taking hits, but they do have shields, which gives Our us a good resistance. Uh, right, where is my general? I forgot to send him to climb the wall. You're in position to lead the fight. I'm actually going to dismount you. Right, ropes are being thrown. We're assaulting the walls. The gates are open. Get in there, swordsman. Here's my axe band. Get in there. You get in there. I need you to dismount. The Sentinel is doing work. Walls are being climbed. Now, some of them are running around to go in through. I need you to climb the walls. Get up there and start making things happen. Okay, it's time for the archers to stop. It's time to bring the cavalry up in support. Now that we've taken the gates. We own the walls. That's great. Are you climbing? Climb, climb. Yeah, there's some climbing happening, all right. Oh, you put up a rope, and now all these guys are using your ropes. <laughs> it's going to take you a while to get up there. This guy's doing his job. Okay, we're pushing in. Some of these guys, have, we've taken the walls over here. Which is exactly what we want. We've got cavalry coming, we've got spearmen coming. There's some archers over here. Are they coming out? Looks like they're trying to hold the walls.
seems like an awfully unnecessary show of force. You are just murdering our own people. Okay, let's get this axe band and guy over here to line up to fight this cavalry. Get the sentinel over there as well. I'm going to get you to go get back on your mount. Sentinel should get back on his mount now. Get the fight uh, off his mount for the initial assault, but... Bring up the units. We do have a support army over here. Get them to move towards the uh, walls. Can these archers hit this cavalry? Yep. This is a good opportunity. You do a bit of damage for free. Cavalry are getting obliterated now. They do have shields, but they're, they're actually really good shields too. But they're just getting hailed with so many arrows. These spearmen should also start taking some hits. Got our two bands ready to charge. Go. Where's my sentinel? Get over here. You get in there too. Sentinel needs to join the fight. I'm going to get you to go capture this. Yeah, that's enough damage. Okay, I need you to stop. What is the toggle? What's the halt button? Backspace. Halt. Doing a lot more damage to us than you are them. So now we need to just go fight for the uh, main plaza here. I'm going to go ahead and these two infantry. I think I've done enough. We're going to take some of these fresh guys. Get them over here with my two commanders. Excellent. We can go ahead and chase these guys down in the meantime. I'm going to get these guys to sprint because I want them to get there a little bit quicker. We'll go fight for the center now. There are some barricades in the way that we're going to have to fight through. Um, but that shouldn't be a problem. This tower over here is shooting me, which really sucks. The time has come. Get these two guys to go break these barricades. We'll take a bit of time to break these down. Unfortunately, you guys are getting hammered from the back. The tower is ours. They'll take that. Get you guys to fall back. We've done enough work. We'll take the barricades. Let's take the archers with the most ammunition into the city. Like so. We're starting to break down these barricades, which is good. Arrow tower is just obliterating us. Uh, where's my leader guy? You should really go join. Let's get you up into the fight as well. You might get a few kills, get a bit of experience, you know? Attack the barricades. Take a bit of time here. We are getting shot by a tower in the back, unfortunately. But there they go. Now they're attacking it. My fresh archers are on their way in. Don't know if they're going to make it in time. Barricades are down. Go. 
much now. I had a way over here. Just get just get in range of these guys and start shooting them if you can. I don't care exactly how you do that, just like support. Alright, we're gonna send these guys in. Run, run. There's some archers coming as well. Um, where's my cavalry? Get these halberd calves. Chase down these archers. Right, these guys are doing the job. These poor G infantry captains are getting absolutely obliterated in here by these anime superheroes. Yeah, it looks like they're panicking. Alright, I think things are going really well for us now. It's a speed up time. I think it's just a matter of letting time pass. The enemy city is falling. Yes. Go ahead and take them down. I've got my cavalry coming. You'll help with that. Ooh, I do. I really want to see this cavalry charge hit, though. Is there a way to, like, toggle follow unit? Hold on. Hold on. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Hold on. Controls. Right, let's see here. Delete unit camera. Oh, this is it. <laughs> ah, this is awesome. All right, cavalry, get those archers. Don't let them get away. They're over there. Excuse me. Get the archers, please. I came here for the amusement park ride, and you guys are not getting the archers. Oh, they're making it a wedge just coincidentally. Guys! Go! Get them before they leave! I want to see the church! Go! No, don't let them get away! Yeah, do it! What are you doing? Just get them! Just go outside and get them! No! Capture the gate! No. I came here to see cavalry ride down archers. And god damn it, am I gonna see it? Wait, who's fleeing? I can't believe my cavalry are stupid. Who's fleeing? Oh, yeah, it might be a good idea to get out of the range of the towers, guys, by the way. Go, get him! The gate is open! We own the gate! No! Go through! It's our gate! Go, go through the gate! The gate is mine! Why no open? Open gate. No, the gate belongs to me. Open the gate. I can't believe I was just cucked out of my awesome cavalry charge into archers. I'm... We have lost a unit. Nobody survived. Wait, who did we lose? That's dumb. My, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I didn't get my cavalry charge. Apparently, one of my archers was, like, standing around getting obliterated by a tower that I didn't pay attention to. But, you know, these things happen. <laughs> Man! I really wanted to see... Oh, wow. These guys actually got destroyed. Uh, I'll just occupy this. These guys will take two turns to convalesce. Yan Shao is a pretty big meat boy over here. To arms! 
Oh, I'm gonna send you to go searching. You're gonna just hang out here? Get the stable, but these guys the are gonna move in next turn and hopefully be able to take Fury. it out. Maybe I can draw them in with it by attacking. Um, what's up with you? Oh, you got a level. Nice. So this is my preacher. Range block chance. Fire arrows, night battles, authority. Ignore forest penalty. Whatever, we'll take that. Okay, so, you know, we've made some progress. We captured another city. I do want to capture the farmland here. I'm going to turn Anping into a farm production center. That's the goal here. We are going to struggle to feed this area, though. Um, oh, my word. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll handle this in the next episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe. All that jazz. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.